Hey fam, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. Um, you know, I, I like to sometimes challenge myself, you know, with questions and stuff that I really need to delve into. And lately what's been on my mind is, um, how do you really know when you're an adult? I mean, really. Besides, oh, I turned 18 or I turned 21, which is probably the generic thing everybody would say. But how do you really know when you're an adult? In my opinion, <laughs> is when your thoughts are absolutely, authentically yours. And as long as you are running around with the first thoughts that your parents gave you and you can't honestly openly uh, authenticate if this is your thought then it must be your parents and with that being said then you are carrying your parents narrative you're not carrying your own narrative and I think that is one of the most difficult hmm, concepts that a lot of people have to face, especially as black people, because we are so mm, mother conscious. We don't even care too much about our dads. In fact, we don't give them much credit at all if they're uh, in our lives. Uh, but it's the mother, you know, and I know that, and I know how much power that we yield and how much influence that we have over our children. So if we are not thinking correctly, and if we have a lot of toxic and diabolical thoughts, which we may have been um, transmitted down from our parents, and we pass that on to our children, and not only that, we'll probably take those same diabolical thoughts into our relationships, then it's no wonder why they're failing. Um... The thought for me today is who, or that I would like to, I don't know, get all, get us to ponder today, you know. And I hope y'all feel free to leave a comment to me because uh, sometimes I be struggling, you know. And uh, I be wanting to know if anybody is feeling like this besides me, you know. I mean, do your parents' thoughts, maybe your mama's, mainly hers. Uh, permeate your relationship that you in now? Are you doing the same shit that your mom did or this is the same narrative your mother told you whether, you know, if you got a woman she should treat you like this and if, or if you got a man he should do this. Are these thoughts genuinely yours or did they come from your mom? Are you living your mother's narrative? You know? And you're not being disloyal to answer that question. The fact that if you can't even ask answer that question really without feeling guilty, then maybe there is a problem. Okay? And like I said, because I come from the black clan, the African American clan, the Negro clan, whatever damn title we going by this damn year, I don't know. But I know it's very difficult to even examine it. Because if you say something bad about your mama, and it is almost as if you have crossed over the line and you belong with Satan himself. But that's not what I want. I want you to, I want you to unequivocally not be afraid to think about um, where your thoughts came from and who was your first teacher. What did she teach you about life? What did she teach you about relationships? What are you mimicking in your relationships um, that you learn from your master teacher? And how many of those thoughts and components that you are mimicking are destructive to you in your relationship? How many of your relationships have broke up and failed and broken down because of some ancient dubious crazy belief that you may have that you may have dissected from your parents and you trying to inject it on every relationship that you in 
Those are the hard questions that we got to ask ourselves. I have to ask myself that every day um, because I want to be an authentic and whole person. And this is what love will bring you to. You know, there's a song that Taylor Dane sings, that love will lead you back to me. Um, and I do believe that through love, all things are revealed. You know, unfortunately, it's just so much hate on the planet that a lot of times we just forget to love. So even in our own personal relationships, because those are all extension, you know, the community is just an extension of us personally. So that's the main question I think that needs to be pondered for myself today. You know, do my mama's, <laughs> my mother's thoughts and her beliefs and her narrative permeate my idea. What was destructive about her teachings to me that um, helped destroy my relationships? Hmm. Well, in my opinion, you're not really an adult until you can answer that question. So, think about that for me and just give me your opinion about it. And if you can't just leave it you know, down below. Thank y'all for listening. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.